very well, actually, Good. without my help. Back to the rooftops, find the others. Back to the rooftops. We need to find a way up. Can't go right, there's a man there. Pop, pop. The light begins to dim and fade as the guard to your right disappears. Quiet. I heard someone say something about assholes by a ship, so I'm guessing there. Works for me. Might be something to check out. Someone's responsibility. I could uh, swim under and uh, climb up on the other side of the boat. Give it time. Left everything out here for someone to take. Okay. Someone to pick up. Where's Sarah? Is it just I don't know. Mostly, you hungry? Not. 
actually better than last time. Yeah. I take it that the poor salty is now under there. Yes, you've yeah. had a little too much. Sergeant is uh, drunk. Mm. Trust me. Mm. The only real entertainment you get here is getting drunk over there. And you're really going to be able to where the water shakes. shakes. Town Let me shit, just. Water oh. shit. You're fucking welcome, Your Highness. No sign of service. It's quite quiet. Did you know you saw those last few cell swords make their way onto the ship for whatever reason? A difficult target, to be sure. Are you sure you don't want me to swim over? you succeed, you'll be on the boat by yourself. <sighs> and then what? Mm, I don't think that far ahead. Yeah. Okay. I still have smoke bombs as a distraction. Then to be very aware, but like, throwing something. If we in cause the, ocean, the rockets to get thing. the guard, using smoke bombs implies things. Mm. Have patience. I could probably. Okay, I mean, I, I could probably pay that. Uh, Tavern lady to just make a fuss and get the guard's attention to uh, leave the boat open or something. As you said, they will identify you. So. Oh, yeah, but. Once you do that, you can't return. I can go fill. Uh, I've been here a few times. They they know me as a person who spends a lot of money here. But yeah, okay. As you look at those watching the dock and the boat, Kyler, you have no reason to believe that they will move anytime soon. In fact, you think a shift change might have just happened. And still no sign of Sarah. Where did she go? Oh, fuck. She might have had one of her things. Oh, there you are. You're right. Two more dead. Nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice. Okay. We need to distract those. Get onto the boat. Ideas? <laughs> this is where Tordy shines, I think. Huh. On the boat, yes. My suggestion is I can pay the tavern lady to just oh, and then attract the guards over there. Inside I think check. To sneak on. <clears throat> With the fifteen, you know that these at least Imperials were placed here by Dario. They are likely going to stay right where the fuck he put them, unless it's a damn good reason. I got nothing. I got an idea. Wait, 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 wait. There's a... 
There's a sloop right there. We take it, go around back, uh, we climb up on the back. Are you confident in your boating abilities? <laughs> yeah, I'm confident in the <laughs> boating abilities. At this time, you three, please go get climb all so you can get up the boat and come back. Teleport yes, on me. Yes, yes. That's so exciting. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. NPCs. What'd you say? NPCs. No person climb up. Teleport on Don't fucking ruin me. <laughs> Alright, that's our plan. Bye. As you come over to the ship, Kyler, there is a nice little chain that goes around part of the boat and is locked to the pier. And take out your tools. This lock's been by the water with 10 plus 2. Opens with ease. The boat is free. All, All right, right, skip it. Prep. Half sail. Silently. We'll be smooth and quiet. Don't worry. as you gently maneuver the ship. You can't help but keep glancing to your left and thinking of those large things you saw coming out of the ocean, not just yesterday. How they almost grabbed at you and Ray. And you saw the damage done to Tang. You have a feeling you know what did it. Could it be under your boat right now? Waiting for your body to touch the water. Okay. Oh dear, I turned, I turned, I turned. Oh dear. Ugh. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. This is totally how boats work. Thought you were confident. <laughs> I am, I didn't know this is where you wanted. Chuck her in reverse. That'll do. When you get to the door, wait here.
Oh no. No, 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 no. Reach up and then bring it under your feet. There you go. As you make your way to the back of the ship, to the back door, you see that the door has been left unlocked. Whether it's a security breach or something of the sort, it is easy to see in. Within, you'll see two people, one pouring over books and one cleaning. At this point in time, please prepare to teleport on me. Please prepare to teleport on me. do it from menus, can't we? Yeah, I forgot I could do that. Mm. I forgot I could do it from my menu. Players, teleport on me. Teleport on me. I see more books over in the other yeah, well, so other side I. of the. Oh, this is a bigger shelf. It's probably over here. The faster we find it, the faster we can get back home. Right. Red book. Oh God, there are so many red books. Oh, Stop complaining. That... I can hear you up there. It's... I can complain as much as I want to. You fuckhead. You're right, bastard. Oh, shut up. You beanie squeeny. What does that mean? <clears throat> Is there at least any alcohol up there left? Oh, there's plenty of alcohol. Uh, fucking take it. Oh, I think I found it. Yep, here it is. Little box inside know it's of a gone. book. Hmm? <laughs> Fuck. Kyler, as you grab this person, <clears throat> you're able to very quickly slide the dagger across the throat. She kind of falls back towards your right side, just enough for you to look at the side of her face. Your eyes dart towards her, making sure that the job is done. The face is young. You see that they are probably within their mid-twenties. One of the new support staff or troops that were sent here as of late. There is a wide fear in her green eyes. As she clutches at her neck, his blood flows freely across the uniform, and within seconds, she collapses, her full weight against you. As you come up to the windows, as you come up to the windows, you can see on the deck outside the jewels, two standing in the middle by the mast and one at the front of the ship. Hey, 
do you know how to open this thing? Hello? Let's talk to you. I'm right there. What, did you trip and fall? You're getting better. Hit your head on something? Alright, I'm coming down there. I'm bringing this little box with me. You hear that whoever's up top is coming down here. Get ready. Yeah. The door closes. Suddenly, a stab to the back of the neck. The person trips forward and slams their head against the desk and stops moving almost instantly. The spine severed at the base of the neck. That's all of them there. What's the of? I'm curious, hold on. Yeah, the box, he said. As you open the box, and there's a couple small items in it. It looks like several scrolls. Important? No? These? Okay. Not a priority. How many did you see? I saw two get on the boat. Stand by. On the main deck, out front, and you hear the steps of someone above you on the top deck. But when you look out the window, you don't see anyone but Radad soldiers and Imperials. I'm just gonna find the dread knife now. Could it be above us? We can go back out and um, go above, climb up. Let's do it. If you're going out back again, stand by, prepare to teleport on me. Mm -hmm. I can do. Players, teleport on me, please. Thank you. From the clock? Even from here, you can hear the voice above a sergeant you recognize from town. Fenton, you think his name was? The source of the steps above. Dread knife's not in the boat. We can leave. Must be that's right. Get over it. <laughs> S Sarah.
point where we left it. <laughs> Back to the roofs. If those amps see that body, they're going to raise a fuss. No shit. The knife might be in the tavern. Maybe. It's too high profile to go check now that we've seen them looking for bodies. Do I'm going to take a peek inside. Your eyes scanning, and you catch something. A dark figure looking directly back at you. They've seen you, and they're watching. As your eyes dart to the left, Kyler, you see a figure as well, clad in black, and you know they see you as much as you see them. And in one movement, they spin on the roof shingles and take off in the other direction. You see them take to the higher roofs at the top of town.
You hear off to your left, down the road in the direction of Nautis. You hear your friend pursuing all manners of stealth thrown out the window. Fuck's sake. I need to respawn real quick, sorry. You see Torty on her over her shoulders. You can see Kyler, you see Torty on her back with a critical injury. It's almost like she's waiting for something. You see her on a th throwing knife. As you go to do so with an 18, pause. You'll see the dagger slice into the side of the armor. With an 18, a spray of red blood. The woman spins, catching her breath. You hear a. <laughs> And then, boom, as a bit of flash powder is flown on the ground in front of her, and she rolls just up the lip out of the way, rolling, Kyler. With an eight minus two, because of your draw vision, it is going to be heavily blinding and hard to see. Full rolling. With a nine in the same boat, minus two, that flash powder was blinding. Sends you reeling for a moment as a woman continues to run. Unpause. Get Torty. <sighs> you continue running as fast as you can, Tyler. She's staying on the road, which is strange. She's either leading you towards something you know. There's either an ambush up ahead, or something. By all means, she should have taken off to try and get out of your eyesight. run out onto the road, you scan the area. Perception check. With a 13, it's barely distinguishable. The bushes across from you on the other side of the road, you see movement for just a moment in this direction. Which way? Sorry, I didn't see. You can tell this is absolutely a dread knife for at least somebody who's very well trained. You don't know if they're waiting for you to come after them, or they think they're hit. Perception check, Tyler. Carry on.
You hear the pitter patter of rock as she runs over the top of the stone itself and starts to move along the road. You see her eyes dart over her shoulders. You're almost certain she likely has a potion to see. It's all about speed now. You breathe heavily as you start moving forward as quickly as you can, your arms pumping at your side, sweat dripping down your temple. This person is so close. And you have so many burning questions in the back of your head. She spins at the top of the bridge and throws a dagger rolling. With a 17, Kyler, you saw it coming. You duck and you just feel the material near your head get snagged by the blade. And your hood comes down. As your hood falls to the sides of your shoulders, the woman stumbles hard and stops running and then her eyes shut for a second and then throwing towards the ground another flash powder rolling with a four this one is blinding critically minus two and you hear a splash as the woman disappears from view unpause <sighs> Fuck. You look down into the dark water. You look hard. You scan the surface looking for bubbles. Anyone down below. You don't see anything. You know what you saw. They they stumbled, almost tripped over themselves. A person who was moving with such grace and careful accuracy almost fell flat on their face. But he's gonna be all right. Did you get a him? No. Well, she's fucking dead. If she went in there, where'd she go? Ensia. As he says this, he seems severely troubled. Not the kind of worry that you've seen from him when. He feels like he's failed something or didn't do something correctly. There is a genuine strangeness and stillness, a coldness to his words. Go and get taught him. As you say that, you hear footsteps coming on the road. Like I said, she's fine. Hello? Come on, Tortu, let's go home. Did we, uh, do it? I don't think so. Um, so, we fucked up? I'll worry about it when we get back to the schoolhouse. Uh, doesn't that mean he's going to fucking kill us? Or it's an empty threat? I don't think it's much empty threat with him. He doesn't seem like that empty threat type of guy. Let's just get back to the schoolhouse. All right. Okay. 
your hand clutches at your dagger a little harder than it should not the steel one that you're used to but the one that you took from one of the others two years ago you squeeze it so hard your hand hurts you hear your knuckles crack you have your suspicions you're not entirely sure you don't exactly have proof but if it is both rage and fear churn in your belly like an ocean at odds with itself you're not sure how to think or feel right now you know that the viper will likely be displeased except for one thing he had said to you in the tannery that he was perhaps looking for a way to leverage whatever it is about you against these dread knives to see how he can use you if it's what you think it is well you'll be able to draw them out better than anyone else. A terrifying thought, but also a satisfying one. The myriad of emotions churn. They're not even worried about what he thinks or might do. When you hear the sound of hoops along the road, they pay you no mind as you see them charging towards town until one sergeant screeches to a halt. Come here, up. Can I help you? That's the son of Lord Arhart. What are you doing out here? Just go back from watching the water. You all seem in a hurry. There's been found a, hmm. one of our own killed a, in Cassetto. You know anything about it? No, I didn't go that far. Though, I did hear rumors today that I was going to bring up with my father. The people and the populace of Cassetto and Belerno are not too pleased of your presence. Maybe that has something to do with it. That's my best guess, though. And that is right. One of you head back. Start questioning the populace more thoroughly. Try to find anybody that might have any hatred towards us. If you find any, check their house. Any blades that they shouldn't have. Probably get a report written up and take it up to the embassy. Got it. Probably in the morning would be better. I'll let my father know, and he'll tell the council. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Do you need a ride back? I'm alright. I'm just enjoying the air. Uh... Being in the city all day okay. nah, doesn't agree with me. Have a safe night. Yeah, you too. Just as the anger surges through you, so 
So does caution. It's very clear that she's skilled, if that is indeed her. She threw a knife while running dead center mass on Torty Center, flying back. A quick, critical injury. Time has certainly changed you both, if that's the case. And you know that if it does come to blows, which you're sure it will, it'll be one hell of a fight. fix that in a moment. I can go now start scouting the bridge where I last saw her. If you want. <clears throat> no. So, give me the good news. Killed the Max. Dreadknife got away. Now for the good news. The red knife was the pure reason you were sent out. Correct. And now for the good news. During our scuffle, she took off my hood, recognized me from before. If she is who I think she is, you get your wish. There will be dozens upon dozens of dread knives here in a couple of days, I'm sure. For what reason? She knows me. Knows you? Why does this Dreadknife woman know you? One of my lists. <laughs> so you are telling the truth. I see. <clears throat> It's best I didn't catch her. I can tell if you believe what you're saying, or you're trying to assuage my fury. If I caught her, I would have killed her. What do you think, Lotus? Just means more sloppy work to make up, as usual, it would seem, with these three. Would it be easier to kill him? It would tie up a loose end. You lose your bargaining chip. You were looking for a way to use me. That's why you were sussing me out earlier. You found it. They'll keep coming. Both get where we want. What do you think? That one's essential. And he's not wrong. Use him. <clears throat> you seem confident in what you might be wanted for by these dread knives. And you'd be willing to, I would hope work with whatever it is I orchestrate. As long as I get my kills in, sure. <clears throat> Three of you, come here. Near. Oh, 
And here's three straws. One of them is short. One of you will be punished for this fuck up. I think that's fair. Can Kyla use a sleight of hand to try and purposefully draw a short one? I will allow it. I will give you a plus two. Cheryl a d20. Whoever has the highest. Oh, you're here, Kimchi. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Roll for all three. Starting with Kyler. With a 13 plus 2, Kyler, for a 15. You feel very confident that you're going to be drawing the right one. Sarah with a 5. You're not entirely sure. But Tordy with a natural 20. The oh, worst on. possible That's time. Of course. It's just your luck that you pull the short straw. Very good. Twenty-five silver. Twenty-five silver. Twenty-five silver. You stay here. The rest of your job well done. I ran the operation. You should follow me. The blame. Come throws it back. Very well. The two of you get out of my sight. You're familiar with what your old partners used to do when people failed their contracts. The Crimson Run got from stem to stern, and if they can make it to someone who can save them, then they're forgiven. Don't damage my armor. gonna need it if you want me to kill these dread knives. Agreed. Just make sure you survive. Before you bleed up, see you soon. You have drive, Drow. You may have failed, but you have my respect. I don't fucking die. Somewhere. Come on, that's good cheer. I understand. Come on. This way. No one can see me. Continues to drip, pour down your belly. Wait, I have a it's potion. Soaked the front of your pants. Let's get into my home, then you can take it.
The cut is deep, and it starts in the center of your chest and goes down to your belly button. Come on, sit down on the bed. Sarah, as you see him sit down on the bed, the the blood is dripping in a very solid fashion. It is a heavy bleed from a heavy wound. Kyler, as the Viper took this action, there is something that surprised you. You volunteering, as you did, made him hesitate. You surprised him. You have a feeling he might have maybe detected the sleight of hand. You're not sure. He wasn't exactly paying attention, lording it over you all. But his demeanor certainly changed after the fact. Fuck. <laughs> Tyler, potion. you down the potion. Tier two. You try your best. You swallow it down. It hurts everywhere from that deep red gash. Sarah, you stare at it, realizing that it's a dance with the devil, so to speak. The man is very serious, brutal even. He rewards those who do good work and punishes failures. He watched a wound stick together and stitch itself closed with a 19 plus 2. It actually does so quite quickly and not as painfully as usual. You also notice something strange, Sarah. For the first time, actually, no poison was used. It was very strange to you. I think he likes you. Funny way of showing it. What was that back there? What was what? Look at me. Perception I'm check, sir. Rage, fear, swirling around behind those eyes. Something's wrong. You don't know what it is. Something is very wrong. I will not pry, but I am here. I will listen. It's her. Let's get you back home so you can change. Yeah. But it's gotta be. Who is her? You know. Her as in... You know. <sighs> Stupid fucking cable. Ripping my cool moment. It didn't, don't worry. I am not sure what to say about that, other than I'm sorry she got away. Like I said, it's best she did.
You cannot have him. Oh, you said something. I did, that you were um, dying, so I told the dying that it couldn't have you. You brought me back. Uh, yup. Drow magics. See why I didn't want Torty involved. I completely agree. I didn't want her involved either, but it was like it gets a sick twist out of putting people in perilous situations. Oh, my feet. My aching feet. I'm going to do this for another thousands of years. Gonna check on Tordy and get a drink. Good idea. I should change. I'll be out in a minute. Are you okay? Yeah. What did they do? He pulls up his shirt. There is a cut from his chest down to his sternum. It's been healed, but it will likely scar for a while. I tried to purposefully draw the short straw, but you are remarkably unlucky. <laughs> I'm starting to believe the fact that I'm cursed. You see why I don't want you involved in these things? <sighs> yeah. I know. Sorry. It's not your fault. <gasps> I 
I was telling myself I'm rather busy throughout the day. Apologies. No, no worries. I ended up being busy too. I'll be around for about 20 or so minutes, if you will. I'm gonna go get him. I'm gonna wake him up. <laughs> Joe, he's gone through so fucking much. You both have gone through so much to deal with him. Please tell him. <laughs> Please, you must ask. Still, it must be uh, very cautious about this. I don't know why, but I. Is I that don't why you were praying to me the other night? Oh, I'm okay. I promise you, oh. I could have gone my entire life without you that. <laughs> no, no, he what, was drunk like on the ground, passed me? out, like, woke like up, and was calling me Asara. Mm -hmm. Do you like hearing my my sweet words of congratulations and appreciation, Lady <laughs> Elf? Asara. Do you want me to? You're into that sort of thing, Lady Elf? Absolutely not. Good evening, Mr. Inquisitor. Uh, Have you a moment, Miss Eleanoria? Eleanoria. Full name, dude. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, you're in trouble, of course. I said two, but this is fine. Oh, you said two. Didn't hear two. Let me get these in. I'll be back to pay you in a moment. Sixty copper. Uh, you, you know, huh? I, you, uh, you always get paid first. Had you been looking for me? <laughs> I have a lot of questions. Mm. Mm. Oh, can I have a second? I don't know if that's other eyes. Oh, oh, okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, Lordy, what have you done with that? Get out of here, you southern prick. Huh? Oh, yeah, I am funny. It might be that awesome person that now has oh, okay. been... Where are you going? I don't know. No any good drinking spots. Here is always good. I'll wait for Sarah. Or a roof. Get the way. Out of the corner of your eye, you see a familiar shape hiding behind some of the boxes, Sarah. To the right. It looks like that triton from Fight Club, I guess. By the dock or up here is the last place. Over here is rather nice. Mm. I almost got her. Yeah. She got you, though. Yeah. <coughs> Seriously, Torty, you're lucky you're not dead. I know. No, you don't. If that's who I think it is. Okay. Maybe you're not unlucky. <laughs> I 
I've had incredibly shit luck lately. Sorry about you and Viz. It's fine. It's one of those things that we talked about super early on. I figured it was... One of those doomed things anyway. I just thought it would last longer. That's usually how it goes, isn't it? It just sucks. I still get excited when I see him, and then I get reminded that, oh, right, we're not together, and he's so cold and distant. Sounds like he's protecting himself. Yeah, but you know, it's smart. It's what I told him to do. Well, said we'll let everyone know we broke up and then pretend it was just a fling. It's just hard seeing how quickly he can hide it, you know? I'm sure it's just a mask, Torty. Evening, Tang. Evening. You having a good night? As it stands, not so much. But I'm making it work. And you're welcome to sit with us. Too tired to even talk at the moment. That's fair. But it's weird that I actually see you drink, so I take it that you didn't have as good of a night either. No. No, I didn't. Fingers crossed. I 
I think just about everything is crossed at this point. Do you know what the Nora is? Um. Good. She's not inside of the shop. Hmm. Best you'll get looking here is probably Oshan. Why? Just curious. Thanks, buddy. Do what I can. What's on your mind? That, um, I'm definitely not going underground now. I feel like I'd get everyone killed. You don't want to go down there, Torty. Yeah, no, I don't want to go down there. I want to go on a boat, not underground. That's the exact opposite feeling. But I want to help people. And it feels like a lot of the times when I'm helping now, I'm not. Sorry. Oh. Found Oka by themselves in the marketplace. Do you have any chance? You can go swimming now. But I do recommend you come back, because I will look for you. Make sure to wash that blood off of your hands. You shouldn't blame yourself so much, Torty. Second day in a row where I do a thing and someone gets hurt because of me. Well, maybe not because, but because I was there, you know, adjacently. problem with doing things with people. <sighs> Just one of those days where I was learning as well. It was like I was trying to learn what it would take to be a better pirate not that i want to be a pirate but like what i was supposed to be like right you know <sighs> oh, oh 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 okay what? i think they waved they and then they went down mm, but it's not like they're going they to enjoy themselves 
But either way, I learned it's all the things that I suck at. So... You did great tonight, Torty. You did. Yes, you did. Chances of us actually catching oh, her were nice. fucking minuscule. Hmm. What? Me. Explode brain, third eye. Oh, I did. You totally didn't hear me say the thing earlier, right? I sure hope you didn't. Eye patch, pirate. I see your yeah, as you're saying, pirate. Don't point to me like <clears throat> you heard me say that. No, oh shit. Do they have good el like elf ears? I thought they were like more like people ears. Hmm. No, I'm I'm not a pirate. No, I, I don't. Nope. Just learning. Pretend. Woo. I thought they said that quietly enough. Fuck me. But who's Aka gonna tell? Continue quick. Literally uh, no. all the bands. Uh, I, I haven't been able to talk to them. That means fucking anyone, god man. Doesn't mean they're a reputable <sighs> source of information. Doesn't mean anyone will believe them. Oh. Oh, oh the Are you struggling? I don't know if Aka knows how to get back up here. Can they even see? They've been feeling so. the edges? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I don't think that's... <laughs> no. Goes without saying, not a word of any of this to anyone. Yeah. Yeah, appreciate the not needing to say the unspoken part out loud. Sneaky, you know that. They actually are surprisingly. I wonder what your tail is. No. Um. <laughs> uh, she told me that she got caught in a rope. 
from a boat, and that's why her face is all fucked up. Broke. A rope broke. Yeah. I like her. Not many people like her around. Wish she was a part of the auction. Thought she was very valuable. Mm -hmm. A big one, Sawtooth. Chat, quick question. I don't know if anyone can see on other people's perspectives. Is uh, Tron still around? I suppose I can check the menu. Yes, she is. I guess we stock up in the health potions next few days. <sighs> health potions, food, anything you get your hands on. I'm uh, gonna head out. Gonna go for a ride. I don't think I'll be back tonight. Oh, okay. Be safe, okay? Have a good night, you two. And okay, thanks. Mm. It's okay. Thanks back for tomorrow. a while. Helping. Good night, Kyla. See you tomorrow.
have some benefits I'm not going to lie. Hey, Frenchie. Yeah, Frenchie? Sorry, Mr. Scream Scram. <laughs> Yay. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> just letting you know that Kyler is on his way to the Grove. He's just leaving the city. Understood. That's where you're riding. Yeah. You got it. Thank you. I'm very tired. I completely misread the name. Well, was he in front? Maybe that's what I read by accident.
<clears throat> Fuck, looks like I missed them. I think Lisa just, I think Tron just left as well. That's okay. Um. Yeah, well, if no one's here. Um. 